Not so. Bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. Here! We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. It's now recently disturbed. She's close. These tracks are fresh. Seems she took the higher ground, out of the snow and into the trees. Let's return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But so. But nothing. Go. Stop running. I only wish to talk. I am not your enemy. Please, just hear me out! Cars, woman! Only let me speak! Try my patience, woman! Ah. Are you touched in the head? Me? Hey, from... Ah, I come in peace. Why are you <sighs> speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name. The one. I'm Gadizio. Pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Zio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I don't trust you. I know. of the waves, the sting of the salt in the eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. I'm sure that's where we're going. Aye, the bulldogs putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now, expeditions. Aye, smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. I hear tell the French are ready to move in all positions. I wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little over there here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before we send. What's the need, Officer Georgian? Oi, where are you going, Cully? No, the other cock running. Well, I, uh, I was listening. Oh, and now? Well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem?
Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Hmm. I can hide in the cart. As you wish, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds pork, 10 pounds beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese, none of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching. Blankets to cut feet for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Could sabotage them. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict, one in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. They put them in a blitz. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command, and should you wish to see them, at least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Thousands of old, Welsh. What news? Braddock has left. Rally's troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will empty.